Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you, please invite your friends and uh, it's not the time we go live but uh, there is an atheist and he is very angry and I understand, I mean you are an atheist so what I can do about it. Uh, but before we go and talk about atheist, a Muslim he is in the bushes, he is so excited and he posted this comment. <laughs> he said, if Jesus was God, did he pray to himself <laughs> or did God pray to him <laughs> or both? <laughs> Does that mean God prayed to himself? Abdul, because you are Abdul and you do not know, so Jesus speak to the Father, the Father speak to the Son. So before you open your mouth or your refrigerator and you dump whatever you have there on us, go and fix your religion. A person speak about logic, he don't have logic. I mean, is it logical that if you believe in God, he will make your penis English? I mean, what's wrong if it's six foot only? I mean, should it be English? I mean, the size matter? Ah, you are Darwinism. <laughs> it was a small and there's evolution is going to be endless <laughs> so anyway this is Abdul we answer him now we go to other kind of Abdul he is an atheist uh, this is a comment it just posted an hour ago actually I wasn't planning to go as you know I'm taking a break from my throat <clears throat> but this atheist is so upset and you know what I don't want to make the atheist upset I mean come on they would take me to the zoo and they will start throwing bananas at me. So look at what this Abdul he said. His name is Hell Knight. Hell Knight? What a nice name. You are going straight there. CP Aka Christian Abdul. Please stick to the exposing Islam because you are superhero. Okay, like a superhero when it's come to Islam. But a, a, what a boiled potato when it's come to atheism. <laughs> See, I'm laughing like a monkey now just to support your, your theory. <laughs> it's come to atheist, okay, or Darwin, or evolutionary science, uh, or is that? And I still admire your work. Please don't, please, and you're an atheist, admire my work. Are you stupid or what? I mean, a person who speak about God and he says we should believe in God, and then you admire my work. You must be, you must be, you should, should see a doctor. But again, stay away from speaking about topic. You are not good at at uh, as you honestly become the Abdul we laugh at. Now, this is my challenge to this potato in the front of you. If you are in the comment section in the chat, give me one. Tell me what your name is Skype. I will open Skype for you and let everybody see who is the silly. Is that fair guys? Because you know, you can post comment, I can post comment too. You can say things, I can say things too. But a real debate is what matter. I don't, I'm not going to ask you to believe in God, but I wanna ask you what you believe. And you will find yourself in two seconds in trouble. You don't know what you believe. You are just an atheist. You are just a confused person. So, you know, when you say that you are smart, you are smarter than Muslims, you are not. I mean, look at the silly atheism. Read with me carefully what he said, just to show you how silly this person is. He said, uh, let, me, let me highlight, let me try to zoom more. The problem with this thing, okay, let us, let us make it bigger, hold on. <clears throat> Maybe that would be better, I'm not sure. Is the whole text coming from your side, guys? Or you can't see from both sides, if there's any things is eaten by YouTube. I expanded extra so we can get more. <coughs> so look what he said. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat is not doing good. Because, you know, we used to be monkeys and now there's no red banana no more. And, you know, like the family is, you know, missing the roots, you know. <laughs> I want to go back to the jungle. Okay. So he said, look what he said. Uh, Atheists should sleep with their sister. First, I did not say that, you idiot. You are, a, you are a certified monkey. I never say that. I said if you are an atheist, what is stopping you from sleeping with your sister? You cannot even, listen, 
I'm not saying you should sleep with your sister. Anyway, I would never say such a thing. I'm saying if you are an atheist, then what is what like uh, uh, shouldn't you do what monkeys do? I mean, do monkey have a sister? Do monkey have a mother? I mean, they don't know what mother mean. They do not know what sister mean. So. If you are an atheist and you believe you are just an animal, that's mean nothing changed, you are still an animal. And just to show you how your theory is so stupid, here we go. We started with this, you you, you are dead. Because if evolution is a true, or okay, evolution of the body, evolution of the brain, evolution of morality. I mean, how is how stupid is that? Even morality have evolution? So morality morality have nothing to do with animals here we go all the animals who they are under your theory by the way it's a theory it's just a stupid theory there's no proof of it you worship theories so all the animals who they are under your theory okay do they have moral how come animals don't have moral you know, I can say, okay, well, cat, she take care of her babies. You know, this is the, I, uh, this is what I believe, that God, he put in the female, doesn't matter what female, animal or a human, that she love her babies, right? So this is for, this, for, the, for the sake of surviving and to reproduce. But after that, there's zero. Zero. When the baby became a, a, like a, a bigger enough, the big the mother cat she will not even take care to to even say hello. You know she will they, she will fight with her over food. So they are animals. They care only for food survival. But do they have any evolution of morality? Do they knew there is a dog? He knew that this is his sister. He will not sleep with her. So your theory, and this is what makes you angry now, because I say, if you are an atheist, then what is stopping you from doing such a thing? Nothing. So why you stop doing it? If you stop doing it, that's because you live in a society. Isn't it your Darwin who says that the person is a son of his, uh, his uh, I don't know what the word in English, uh, uh, his uh, like, uh, uh, like atmosphere or things around him? This is what happened to you. You are born of a society full of Christians. So you steal our morality and you claim that you have it. Where is it coming from? Either you are a person who believes that you are an animal and then you stay as an animal because evolution will not involve evolution of morality. There's nothing it's called morality for animals. They don't have it. All the scientific study, nobody came that there is a moral animal. That is a that's a lie. That is a joke. People will laugh at you. Male monkeys, they kill their own babies to eat them. Male cats, they kill their own babies to eat them. That is what animals so after all the evolution so all the animals you see when we believe in the evolution stupid thing i, I can accept this uh, evolution thing is like okay you know somebody he live in the mountains so his uh, his chest will be able to uh, uh handle more uh, uh he will not get tired faster because he's used to it you know but this is not really evolution you know it's like you used to you 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 uh, uh, let us say you adopt the situation so you, you live always in an area have a low oxygen so your body adopt the low oxygen but does not mean that your body change that is a stupid theory so when we say uh, why you are not sleeping with your sister that's a question you need to answer look what you say well according to you we all come from Adam look at the logic so we are related okay if you were not virgin, you would be sleeping with your relative too. That's the most stupid answer ever. You see, when Adam is created, well, there is no other choice for Adam, you know, except one Eve. Adam, he did not go to a dating website, and then his, his sons, when they have, he have sons, he have daughters, they go to a dating website, he say, let us find a different person from different family. 
So here you see that you are very naive. You don't even have a brain of a cat. I mean, a cat will say meow. You are trying to say ow when you are just a cat. I mean, you don't even make a voice. So this is your refutation to me, and this is your answer. So how they are going to be uh, not sleeping with their sisters if there's no other options? Again, that was for reproducing purpose. It was not the sex, the purpose. So we as a Christian, we believe that God, he put, he created some kind of joy, we call it sexual joy, in a human being. So human being, he will do it, even animals, uh, he, he will not consider it as a job. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, the race of a human being will disappear. Imagine if sex something a human being he hate to do. We would not have, we don't have a human. People would, that's it, we will, we will end. So because of the joy, people, they seek it. There's a joy in it. There's a joy in the companion. There's a joy in the sex. There is a joy in the relationship. There's a joy in love. There's a joy. There's many joys God, he gave you. And all what God, he says to you, do it the right way. Uh, but the right way is not the purpose of it. It's not like God, he's making a law. And that law is, uh, you know, uh, you follow the law or you are a, you are a, you know uh, an evil person the law is for your benefit not for the benefit of god so you are doing evil to yourself is you're not an evil person but you are doing evil to yourself so uh, as an example now people they go sleep around from from person to partner to partner to partner and then they end having sexual disease you know just search for sexual disease you will be scared you will be terrified so did the morality which is taught to us by God is useful to fight sexual disease? Yes. If everybody keep the book, everybody follow the book, we will not fail into such a disease and trap. If a man don't go vacation cheating his wife and have, you know, like you will see in the Middle East, this is very popular in the Middle East, they go overseas and the first thing they do, they, they find hookers. They sleep with them. They get AIDS, they come back home. This is why in the Middle East, in Islamic countries, diseases spread like fire. Because since the oil came, they start, you know, having money to go vacation when nobody can afford what they can do. I mean, they have a lot of money. So they go there, there's those beautiful women who they are just selling themselves for sex, and then they do what they want to do. But so morality was not for the purpose of worshiping God. Morality was for the purpose of saving yourself from your stupidity. So when we say we are Christians, when we have morality, and we ask you where your morality came from, you have no answer. If you are an atheist and you are listening to me, if I say to you, where is your morality is coming from? Can somebody answer me? If you believe you are an animal, well, animal, they have animal morality, which is zero almost zero except like the mother she take care of her babies what else you know what i mean and then he says you act like there's only religious morality well okay tell me morality come from where you see he's laughing and hit at himself guys you act as there is only religious morality okay when you when uh, when bill gate he gave eight million dollars donation where he got that from he's an atheist is that because he have morality no the guy he went from a stage to stage inviting him to south korea invite him in saudi arabia invite him here and there just because he donate eight million dollars but the coward he should donate all his software to the poor i mean he don't do he need more money that's not the morality he is buying tv time he want to be super star that is not morality morality is what the bible says when you give with the right hand, you don't let the left hand know. Actually, even your stupid Darwin, he says uh, something about like, you know, when you do charity or something right and you don't let anyone know about it, later you find about it. I think I read something like this about it. Uh, so 
you fail to answer you are upset and upset by the way English is not my first language upset is like the from the cowboy as long as you are a specialist in animals uh, the cowboy you know they when they put this the the the, the thing on the you know the thing you know Joe Biden he, they put the thing on the top of the thing and then that thing the horse he jumped like he go crazy so they call him upset are you upset now because we put something in the top of your if your back you try your best to convert to con to confess us or to con to convince us sorry that you are an animal and then when we say okay we agree with you you are a monkey you get upset this is all what atheism is about they believe that they are a species they are an animal any atheist he is not agreeing that this is what atheism is that you are just an animal just another animal so if we say to you okay you are an animal you get upset but what's wrong with you you are fighting to prove it you won and you know like the, the the theory of evolution which is based on racism by the way because darwin he taught that the the white are supremacist they are the successful race and they will be able in the future to erase everybody that's very normal to happen according to darwin so he is a white supremacist and he believe even you know they, they put they put a human being in a cage to prove that he is a, 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 they got an african person imagine they put him in a cage to prove that he, the, the origin of him is a monkey can you believe it how ugly disgusting this behavior is so what is your morality is that morality that's not morality Uh, somebody saying morality is based on culture and religion uh, you know I don't know like this is not really uh, accurate because morality and culture is two different thing as an example in Afghanistan they bring little boy and they dress him as a girl to dance for them and then after that they after that they have sex with him is that morality for you don't mix between morality and culture. That is not a right thing to say. Sometimes people, they, they throw rocks, you know, they don't do what they, what, they, what they are saying. That's absolutely not true. In the Middle East, we have the most ugly culture in the world, where a man, he can go sleep around because he's a man. But if the girl, she sleep around, they will kill her. Is that morality? That's not morality. That is hypocrisy. So, don't mix things up, Mr. Hans. Enhance your thinking, please. Now, uh, he could not answer anything, and I don't know if he is in the in the chat, and he, he have nothing to say except stupid things. But the question is to the atheist: Why atheism fail? I mean, if we search right now, famous, top famous scientists, we will find that they are not atheists, they are believers. Why they are believers? Why not all atheists are scientists and all scientists are atheists? Because if science is what atheism is about, well then we should have 100% scientists are atheists and all those who they are fool, they should be believers, correct guys? But this is not the scenario. The most famous, uh, you know, uh, uh, scientists in the world, which we got the most amazing things around us, either they are Christian or Jews, and they are not atheists. And the most famous atheists we know, they brought nothing but disasters like the communist, like Stalin, criminals, torture, jails, millions of people, slaughters. You see, atheism made the crimes way more than maybe, I don't know if we can compare it to Muhammad. I think Muhammad, he beat atheists when it's come to, to crimes. But atheism, you know, waged war in a human being and a human race and caused the death of millions. In China, just until two years ago, a woman, she can have only one baby. 
and they take a, a part of her body so she can't have any more babies. I mean, is that a human behavior? Is that a moral of the atheist? Yes, this is the atheist moral. So atheism means dictator dictatorship. Atheism means if you don't agree with me, I will take you down and look at you too. Each time we don't say that we have a, we have a guideline. Guideline. What is the guideline? What is exactly the guideline? Go to YouTube. You will find millions of videos of people are naked. If we read the statement in the Hadith, YouTube says this is against our guideline and we take our video down. There's millions of videos insulting Jesus, saying the F word to Jesus. When they say Muhammad is an idiot, they say to us, this is against our guideline. Every single movie in the Hollywood garbage, they insult Jesus. So what we notice from atheism, they are nothing but a bunch of hypocrites. They say something and they believe in something else. And they practice something else. And they gang together. In the same time, they have nothing. There is no book. If I want to debate an atheist, I would debate him about what? He would say to me, uh, the Bible says that the earth and the heaven are created in six days. Uh, you know. He would say to me, prove that. I would say to him, okay, prove what you say too. Your atheist was there. The Big Bang Theory is a theory. This, this is why we are saying, why those scientists who they are studying your science, they did not accept atheism. Because if science, if science really, will lead to atheism, then all scientists should be atheist but what we find is the opposite actually if i show you now numbers you will not believe it how big the numbers of the atheist i mean how small it is compared to the believers of the scientist not just general you know generally speaking so when we go and check very like you know like now scientists of the, today not yesterday then we will find endless numbers of people who they are extremely well known scientists and they are very successful and they are scientists and they believe in god and they believe in jesus but why they believe in that i mean come on didn't you know, the, like didn't this guy study biology how a person who studied biology he believe in god how somebody he's an astronomer he believe in god how somebody is, a, is an engineer he believe in god how somebody work in nasa he believe in god so your science fail and look what happened when an atheist he gets sick a little tiny virus made you have poopoo in your pant the whole world in chaos what happened to your science so we discovered that our science is a joke. It's a joke because a simple virus can kill all mankind. And then they claim that they can fight it. Can you? We will see. <laughs> and, and you fight one virus, there's one billion virus will come. But look what happened here. If we, they made a study, and this has nothing to do with it. This is a PU form. I think this is an atheist website. They are studying about the believers. Who is the believers? So this is the percentage of scientists and atheists who they are, disbelievers or believers. So the one in the green is the one who believe or have a belief, you know. And the, the, the light green is all of them, they are like supposed to be Christians, you know, like, uh, uh, you know, either Catholic, Protestant, etc. And the one who they are like dark green is like believers, but not for domination, something like that. And then the one is in blue is the atheist. Only 41% of the atheist, of the scientist are atheist. You fail. You fail miserably.
You fail. Among scientists here, they are saying 70% are atheist, 11% agnostic, 20% nothing, you know, they don't care really, or maybe they don't want to say. 4% they do not know, and those are the guys who have no idea. <laughs> 10% other religion, which means they are believers, but different religion, not Christians. Uh, Invisible Protestant, 4%. Mainline Protestant, 16%. Catholic, 10%. Jewish, 8%. You fail again. Your science could not make scientists leave God. Now, why? They are scientists. They study exactly the same books you study. They go to the same school you go to, and they get a degree, even maybe way higher than all those who have degrees. So how come your atheism is not functioning everywhere? So to make it simple, if atheism is about being smart, then we should not find a smart atheist, and the majority of the believers of of of, uh, of the oh, sorry of the scientists are believers. We should find the opposite, at least. We should find like maybe 80% of scientists are atheists, and maybe 20% who they are stupid atheists, scientists, stupid, I put with two brackets, stupid scientists. I mean, how that can be? Stupid scientists, okay, where did it go? So it should be like maybe 5%, and the majority, 95% of the scientists must be as atheists. Actually, it should be 100% because science supposedly is against God. But look, your science failed miserably and this is why your logic fail and now if I ask you and I want those who they are atheists you know I have nothing against you as an atheist you know and this is but I believe atheism is something stupid you know when I was a, like a teenage growing and I, I thought about everything I thought about atheism too you know we go to school our school even in the Middle East they teach us Darwin can you believe it in our school, in, 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 even in Islamic University, they teach the stupid Darwin. Darwin is the God. Darwin, he knows what's happening. Darwin, and then we find that this Darwin is an idiot. And you will notice that when somebody makes a theory, and let us say we can practice a theory and we make a study we say okay this animal used to be like this and then became like that but then that animal is still there i, I will give you an example so they will say that uh, uh the first creature was a sail one sail was one sail okay and that sail took it millions of years to develop itself to be something okay so okay no problem then the cell became two and then the cell became three and the cell became million cell whatever and then it's the, the, the body split and became two bodies and this is how so we will take an example of the parmesium I don't know if I'm saying the word correctly I, I, I I'm using words I use I learned when I was in, in the Middle East and we, we have it in Arabic so I don't know what the correct name in English so the parmesium is a, a single cell creature present the simplest thing in life and that creature split itself and became two okay you ask Darwinism what is the purpose of change they will say to you the need okay wonderful so because I need something I have the evolution right the need of something I have to adopt something okay Look how stupid that st story is. As long as the parmesan is little tiny cell and it still can split and there's no need for it to create a penis. I mean, which one is easier? <laughs> Excuse my language. Listen carefully. If this little... Let me see if I can find this, uh, this uh, creature.
here we go I found it in but in Arabic actually I'm saying the word correctly okay give me a second they will put it for you on the screen <laughs> You see, we are speaking science now. We are not making uh, fictions and we are not telling you about God. And you don't need to believe in God. Who cares if you believe or not? I mean, <laughs> you are just Abdul. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm trying to find like uh, how this yeah here we go uh, so you know uh, but I would try to find it in English uh, give me a second I don't want to show it in the screen in Arabic let us use this one any you know just you know just uh, just for the purpose of education I remember this thing we are talking about is something you cannot see by eye you have to see by microscope all right so this is the paramecium which is a very simple cell. And this cell uh, do not need sex, which means they don't need male and female and a sperm and egg and you know. This is this this is a cell. It became big in certain size, and then this cell will split itself to be two cells, which means it will be two creatures. And this is how it keeps going on to make millions and millions of cells. So as long the evolution is based, that when I need something, my body work for it. Well, there is no need for this creature to be one day a creature. He have a penis, because already this creature he is reproducing without sex. Uh, guys, do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand the idea I'm saying to you? Are we listening? If we change because of the needs, right? The needs. This the whole evolution is about it. Adopting, 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 changing. You know, like we change. Okay. So the 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 uh, the alligator used to be a fish, and then the alligator came out because he want to go out in the land. So he adopt and he start in using oxygen. You know, and he can still go fish and uh, go under the water. Blah 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 blah. But this is what they say. Okay, no problem. But if this is true, then we as a human too, we should be able to make wings. Human beings always like to have wings, would not would like to fly. And this is why we make airplanes. We could not make it by flying by our hands, so we made airplanes. And after as long those atheists they believe that a human being exists for millions of years. Okay, how come we did not create wings? We have hands already. If we used to be monkeys, well, we have hands and we have legs. We need more. We need wings, man. And think about this. You used to be a little cell. And then the little cell said to herself, you know what? I'm going to make a penis. <laughs> Excuse my language. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to tell another cell to make a vagina and now we are going to make an agreement both of us that she will create inside her and like a, a kind of a machine that machine will make eggs and I am going to provide her with something called a sperm okay and let us meet after two million years now after two million years for sure this is that the penis was not like this you know excuse me the penis was so small 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 like it start, start like like a mole 
in the skin. And then, brother, this uh, mole started growing. Here we go, it was here. It became like, after a million years, became like this. Became like a little tiny hair. Uh, the, the, the female, uh, she don't have a vagina yet. What she have? She have some lipstick stick there. I mean, come on, females, they like lipstick stick here. Okay, lipstick stick. Okay, let us meet after two million years, you know, like, okay, hello, meet you, see you later, you know. You work in yourself to be male, I work in myself to be female. And we meet after 10 billion years. And then after 10 billion years, they send messages to each other, you know, using WhatsApp or Viber, you never know. I mean, those creatures, they are weird, you know. I mean, come on. He say, hey, how is your penis doing? The female, she said to this guy. This guy, he said, it's horrible. It's not a growing. I put all kind of fertilizer. So this guy, he go to Home Depot and he put fertilizer. Remember, evolution, evolution. So he put fertilizer. And he spray fertilizer all over the place here, like around it, because, you know, you cannot put it far away. And you have to put a certain amount, otherwise you will burn it. Especially it's so small. He put fertilizer and then he said to her, about how about your vagina? She said, oh, she's so it's not working. It's not growing, you know. But I'm working in it, okay? All right. I'm eating diet food. <laughs> Let us meet another 2 billion year more. And then after 2 billion years, they met and they found themselves Adam and Eve. <whistles> True story. Evolution. I mean, come on. How many of you did not, con I mean, uh, you have to be con con uh, what, what? convinced, convinced, excuse my French. Imagine, guys, once I went to the French ambassador, honestly, and he was doing an interview with me to give me a visa. And I said to him, excuse my French. <laughs> I don't know what does that mean. I, later, I learned that this is an insult to the French people. <laughs> oh, boy. But still, he gave me the visa. He laughed. <laughs> anyway. Uh, please help this guy. Look on this guy. I don't know. What is that? What do you mean? Hello, look at this guy. Why don't we look at him? So anyway, my friends. I mean, a very simple uh, uh, thinking. You will find that this is impossible. Because, okay, there's a male and a female, and then how, how I can tell my body now, I don't want that part. How I can give such an order? How I can create a part? How I can make gender? This sale, she found out that she's blind. And she said to herself, I'm going to make eyes. But shouldn't first the sail knows what eyes mean before she can have eyes? Let me give her beautiful eyes. One eye is enough for now. Because remember, it's evolution, evolution, you know? Okay. How she will know that there is light and there is something I can see and there is something, it's called the mechanism, it's called eye. How she discover that? She received an inspiration from Darwin. You know what I'm saying? Remember, everything happened because of the needs, according to them. So what was the need? This, uh, this uh, creature survived, do not need to see. Live in liquid. Whatever liquid around, she lived from it. There's no need to, to, be, to see or to be seen. So, how this creature decide to make an eye how how this eye how, how this creature do you know how complicated the eye is you see if i turn my phone now and i show you i go outside you will not see anything you will say to me it's dark okay but with my eye i can see very good now for sure there's some cameras they can you know they have a special ray technique you can see in the night blah 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 the heat but still the eye is extremely the most wonderful mechanic 
design ever exist because you can see the dimensions it can even feel your eye it even can feel your eye it can feel the others and it can present your feeling too your eye can go sad your eyes can go happy your eyes can have tears of ha happiness or sadness how that evolution work why a creature who is I mean he is just a mechanic you know programmed he need to cry why he crying so all what those atheists they bring you is garbage is extreme stupid garbage and if this guy he is in the chat please tell me I will open sky for you uh, default let me see the chat can you respond to the claim that atheism is default stands of all Christians like myself brainwashed well you know okay how will I respond to this this is a stupid claim like how you respond to something stupid look at this what we are showing you they cannot answer it they cannot refute it all what they have is a theory and those theories have nothing to do with the, with the truth okay they used to be something then they became monkey and then the monkey became a human but do we still have monkeys yes we have monkeys do we still have a fly still we have a fly do we still have mosquitoes we have mosquitoes there was mosquitoes a millions of years ago according to scientists yes why they say mosquitoes so we can agree like you know the the bible speak about uh, the uh, uh, unicorn unicorn how many atheists they laugh at us when we say the word unicorn be honest how many times you heard atheist laughing at the bible speaking about unicorn If you are a person who witness an atheist laughing at the Bible using the word unicorn, give me one. Anyone heard an atheist speaking about it? How many of you heard, it, heard them making fun of the Bible saying such a thing? They say to you, where is this animal? <laughs> you believe in unicorn? <laughs> Actually, I believe once uh, 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 one of my cousin, you know, very smart cousin, said to me, the Bible believe in unicorn. <laughs> I said to him, you set the fight donkey. What if I show you that there is an animal, it's called with such a name and he's exist ha 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 they are copy paste the same as Muslims they speak of science but did not take them two seconds to go and search in Arabic we call this animal Wahid al-Qarn It's true animal is exist very well known animal but every single atheist he says the Christian believe in the unicorn and the first thing they will show you is this <laughs> this is what the Christian believe <laughs> Stupid is amazing. Certified donkeys. You know, in China they say 
He lived as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. So if this animal disappear and it's not exist no more, they will say, you see, Christians are stupid. Look what they talk about. Look what they say. Look what they believe in. Animals which are not exist. Fairy tale. Legion. And by the way, just to let you know, I'm not saying that my book is the book of science. You know, for me, science is... Uh, I, I have definition for science. Maybe different from all definition people have. Science is practicing something and learning from such a practice something else. When doctors, they try to fight what is called Corona, what they do? They have a huge books and reference and studies for centuries and centuries and centuries all in the top of each other they made what we have today about viruses and etc so after what all what we learn about them so now we learn about their nature supposedly so how we can fight it we practice some treatment and we try it to see if it work or not so science is a practice of failure of 1,000 times or maybe a million times and one success. That is science. Actually, scientists are people who fail all the time. Until one day, they got success. Like when a scientist he found uh, the antibiotic uh, medicine, it was uh, by mistake. It was the thing growing on the, uh, I think it was an orange or bread, I forgot. It wasn't even as like uh, uh, the purpose of it. So, science is a practice and we should not be against science we need science we need doctors this is why they exist we need nurses this is why they exist we need medicine this is why they exist and even the Bible teach about medicine but we do not worship science everything in this earth is for the purpose of survival for those who they are inhabitants of this ground. And all those creatures, they hold one fingerprint of one creator. This is why there is similarity. If you look at this animal, which we just mentioned to you, or some other similar animals, you will find that he have, I mean, a lot of things we share. You like it or not. I mean, you have a mouth, you have eyes, you have two eyes, you have one mouth. We don't have horn, he have horn. He has legs, you know, he have four legs because, you know, the way he, he walk. We have four body parts. We call them hands because we don't walk on them. So there's a lot of similarity. Why? Because the creator is one. You know, like in the art business, how they find out if this is uh, uh, this art uh, uh, paint is made by uh, Picasso or somebody from those uh, famous artists. They have their own technique. They have their own fingerprint on it. They have their own method. Even a human being, each one of us, he have his own fingerprint.
why God he made that and how science can explain that if all of us we are copy of each other DNA then we should all have one copy of a skin one copy of fingerprint one color of the eye and if you know we should not be different in any way but you will find that every human being is a unique person even snow the flicker of a snow does not a single one of them is similar to the other one amazing even eyes they are fingerprint which mean there's not a single eye is the same as other eye we are not copy of DNA that's a lie we have the same DNA we have the same number of DNA but it's not the same in everything each one of us he have a fingerprint of God in him you are unique you are different if a criminal he drop one of his hair in the crime scene they can take that hair to the lab and they can discover that this is his hair do you know how many billion of a human being we have still only you have the same exact hair I mean do you see how we can go in details your blood have a fingerprint your skin have a fingerprint your eyes have fingerprint your hair have fingerprint why because all of this is made by one author one maker one manufacturer that is God and those atheists they come to us with nothing except theories in the same time atheism is very dangerous look what they did there is a city it's called uh, Philadelphia I don't know how many of you live in America 90 something percent 90 maybe 5 percent is atheist go and see what happened to that city people walk like zombie in the street I'm not ex back. I'm not exaggerating I'll try to find you some examples without without breaking the copyright of those videos my friend look at this this is a city the city of the atheist the most the biggest city of atheism it's a city of zombies for God's sake go and watch the videos what atheism did so they fought the Bible they don't want Bible in school they don't want even Bible in hotel they want to see they want to see cross in the street it's an insult to us oh we want to take the word God from the Constitution oh we don't want to see the word God they refuse to use the word God in the school teacher they teach the kids God is a joke don't listen to this and look what happened to the kids look what happened somebody saying USA is the country that buy most drugs that is a not really accurate information my friend you see in USA I can say USA have the most uh, uh, percentage of uh, let us say a car accident but because in this country if somebody fought he will be in the news the news agencies here 
you know there is some rain somewhere the guy he go in a, like in the most deep spot which is not really like a flooding and he make himself like you know he's dirty with the flood and there's a wind is coming but there's nobody else removing except him you know so he wear like white jacket to make his the wind blow in his jacket you know don't go there drugs is all over the world and there's countries they eat drugs more than food like Afghanistan as an example Egypt as an example Middle East is flooded with the drugs but the difference is that America is a powerful market for drug dealers they have money so don't go there it's not because of uh, you know this is not really true And we are showing you here, you see, we are not defending America. I, you know, I don't take a side. I say the truth as it is. That's why I'm showing you what I'm showing you. In Yemen, they chew it. In Yemen, they chew drugs. They sit together. This is like a normal thing. Like if you have a, if you have a guest come to your house, they chew it. They, they eat it. You know, they put it in their mouth and they chew it. It's called a, 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 a gut. You will see the Yemeni person. This is why you will not find one Yemeni person taking a picture and his mouth is not full with something. In case you do not know what I'm talking about, if you see a person from Yemen and his mouth look like this, did you ask yourself why their mouth like this? Because they cannot stay the whole day without having drugs in their mouth. The whole nation. You might think this guy maybe he have something in his tooth. Like what's wrong with his teeth, right? He does nothing wrong with his teeth. This is the drugs they they, they, they they chew all day long, the whole nation. Even now they are talking about politics, but they are, they are chewing drugs. You have a friends, you have family coming to your house, what do you put in front of them? The drugs, look at it. This is a house, this is a family. This is fun for them, this is what they do. What American, you know, the, the, you see, there is a person, his name is Hassan al-Hashash. Hassan al-Hashash. I don't know if we can find the name in English. Let us see. This is where the word hashish came from, from the Middle East. <laughs> he have a dark other name here, they call him Hassan al-Sabbah. So anyway, this person is the first, uh, you know, he, you know, he used the drugs as a method to conquer. So he bring Muslims to his castle, he's very rich, and he uh, have women slaves, beautiful women. Those people, they do nothing who they are living in the castle except having sex drinking wine and hashish only in the like noon time around noon time they have a class with the holy leader he teaches them about the purpose of their existence and then after a year you live this fancy life where you do nothing you don't work you just eat have sex and have drugs then the leader he will choose you and he will say you go and you kill this prince for me because he refused to pay me this man he will send a message to the prince saying or the king or anyone a rich person you have a three days four days to pay me let us say a million dollar for sure at that time there was no dollars right but just to give you an example if you don't pay me i will send somebody to kill you so those are suicidal they go to die they don't care they want to go back to the castle so he kicked them out he said you cannot come here back unless you kill that guy 
and to make this, uh, the mission successful they kick out like a bunch of them like five six seven and each one of them alone they tell him you have to do it so if the first one fail or the first one he changes mind he don't want to do it if he, or he's scared he don't want to die the second one will do it if the second one would not do it the third one will do it and this is where the word assassin coming from so even the word hashish is coming from there even the word assassin is coming from there and those are the sect it's called al ismaili and now their prince he live in canada and he's very famous and he is very rich and he is the grand 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 grandson of this guy and trudeau he meet with him every day the queen of england she meet with him always all kings in the world they meet with him because he is extremely rich even though this is out of our topic but it doesn't hurt to give you some education uh, mr. freedom fighter I don't know who are you maybe you are a Muslim say any Christian you pray to a human that's a very funny thing to say my friend because if we ask you Jesus before he was born of a human what he was Jesus said before Abraham I am before Abraham I am so the existence of Jesus the human have nothing to do with the existence of Jesus the God you are silly stupid like your prophet however what if I show you that you are the one who pray to a human all the prayer of the Muslims they go to Muhammad not to Allah you want to challenge me this is the hadith saying all the prayer of the Muhammad and Abduls goes to Muhammad not to Allah he says all your prayer salat not the blessing the latter translation says the word blessing it says messenger of Allah how our prayer will be displayed for you submitted to you <laughs> so who is the one who pray to a human are you there Abdul who is the one who pray to a human it's you all your prayers submitted to Muhammad so who is God same time even your even your God is a man as Muhammad described him Muhammad described the difference between a Dajjal and Allah the only difference between them is one eye right do you see it what is the difference between a man and Allah a man his name is al Masih al-Dajjal which means he will claim to be the Messiah okay you just said the Messiah is a man it's your text let me remind you of what you said you idiot a guy will come and he will say I am the Messiah that's wonderful he's a liar okay you're a prophet saying be be careful the Messiah al-Dajjal he is one eye Allah is not <laughs> that's mean your God Allah is one eye is two eyes he's a man Muhammad is worried that you will be confused between him and the false Messiah but the false Messiah is a man so why would we be confused unless Allah is a man too so those Muslims they come and they, they you know they poo -poo. they do poo -poo. they have no idea what they are talking about you know If your God is not a man, you will not compare between him and a man. And you will not be worried that they will think that he is Allah, and the only difference between him and Allah is one eye. And this is the hadith, which is very sahih, saying the difference between Allah and the false Messiah, the Antichrist, is one eye. By the way, both of them, they have two eyes. But the Dajjal, his eye is damaged. 
So who is the one who worship a man? So my friends, I hope today we are we gave enough to the atheist. You know, I don't I don't uh, consider you in my program to debate you because you are not worth it. Honestly, atheism is so stupid even to debate. And if you want to say to me atheism and science they connect, we just showed you numbers that the majority of scientists are Christians, not atheists. So even there you lost. Even there, you lost. If one day you are able to make all scientists atheists, then I will say you did not fail, really. You are successful to have more foolish people around you. But until now, as you see, you are suffering from big failure, you and your atheism. And if you believe in evolution, that a chicken became an elephant, or you used to be a human or used to be a monkey and became a human well you need to explain to me how the morality have evolution too that's a stupid idea to believe in because morality have nothing to do with evolution of a body that's nothing to do with it and always you fail in that part too because if you say to me I have morality I ask you from where you get that is that the evolution thing what Right. In the same time, you know, actually, uh, atheism and, and Islam, they are somehow they are they are like in agreement in some places. As an example, uh, you know, the, 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 the Quran teach that Allah, he cursed the Jews and he made them pigs and monkeys. Atheist is the opposite. Atheist want to convince you that the monkey, the human, he, he himself, he used to be a monkey and now he is a human. But, but you know, this is stupid to say because if you used to be a monkey, then you just changed and you're still a monkey. This is why you see the picture I posted in the thumb. It says he was a monkey, he's still, he's still a monkey. You see, evolution does not mean you became a human. You will not become different species. You just... A monkey evolution will not make you a new species do you understand people evolution does not make a new species if evolution is the same species is a changing so if he is convinced that he used to be a monkey then he is still a monkey are, are we listening This is why in the picture I posted in the thumb for my video, it says, Atheist wins. He was a monkey and he's still a monkey. Did you get my idea now? Actually, if you look at Darwin, honestly, he looked like a monkey. Look at him. Look at the eyes. So you win. This is why I don't debate atheist. They, they have nothing to debate about. It's silly, silly belief, you know. It's just, there's no even believing. You don't, know, you don't even know what they believe. Once uh, an atheist, a smart atheist, he was debating me, and he got me busted, you know. He said, Christian Prince, do you like banana? I said, sure, I love banana. He said, see, I should not say that. I mean, because I love banana, and I could not resist to say right away fast, like I was so fast, says, but after I said that, I, I regret, because the atheist, he won the debate now. He says, see, you like banana. You go back to your roots. That's it. You cannot win with an atheist. Atheism is not even worth to debate. And not only that, I have a good news for you. Before you die, one day you will get sick, you will say, oh God, help me. Oh God, just wait. Just wait. 
all your atheism will disappear in your pant. You will dump your atheism in the toilet seat. Suddenly you will say, oh God, huh, please help me, God. Uh, you know, God, I believe in you, help me, just do anything, please, God, I will believe in you, just, just, just save me from this, you know. Yeah. You Christian criticize Muslims here who give you guarantee that you will go to heaven. None of you follow the rules. That's because you are stupid, you idiot. Following the rules does not take you to heaven because if following the rules will take us to heaven, then only those who follow the rules will go to heaven. This is your statement, right? And as a Muslim, you are a Muslim, right? According to your prophet, he says, Every son of an Adam is a sinner. So your prophet, he answered you, you idiot. Based on your statement, every son of an Adam is a sinner. So the one who follows the rules, he will not, he's not exist. So how you will go into heaven in Islam then? This is why I say when Muslim they speak to me, they don't they don't give me they don't give me like refutation. They they they, they go like he have a load in his back and he dump like you know whatever dump he him say he have like popo dutu popo susu kuku he pee I don't know. You idiot! If every human being is a sinner, even in your religion, that's mean nobody follow the rules. So it is not sin will not make you not to go to heaven. It is you not fighting the sin and not asking for forgiveness. Because if sin will not make me to go to heaven, who, who of us here did not commit sin? If there's any. The Bible says only God is good. Only God is good. And that is Jesus, my friend. Even your funny prophet Muhammad, he is a sinner. In the Quran, chapter 19, verse 19, it says, Jesus, the Holy Son, is a holy. Holy who? Son. Son of who? Of God. The Muslim, they say, son of Mary, but you belong to your father, not to your mother. Even the Quran says, Call them by the names of their fathers. If we go in the Quran, we will find Muhammad making a statement claiming that Allah is talking, which is very stupid to say. And the statement saying, Oh Muhammad, may Allah forgive your sin. Do you see it? So based on your statement, those who commit sin, they don't go to heaven because they don't follow the rules. Well, Muhammad don't follow the rules. He told you go and marry four, he have unlimited. He was a child molester. He go after his own son, wife, and he flirt with the wife when when the husband was away. He kidnap women. He rape women. He steal. He is a caravan rider. I mean, should I count? Endless. You're a prophet. Say, don't listen to music. Like what the heck? But every single Muslim you listen to music. Don't make pictures. Every single Muslim make pictures. According to your prophet, the one who make pictures or he take pictures. Allah will bring him in the judgment day and he will force him to blow in it to make him create it as a punishment and he will send him to hell. Why you are insulting us? Why you always insulting us? Cannot you talk like a human being to we you Muslims? Thank you very much for saying that. This is a, this is a good statement. So when I say to you the truth, you get insulted. But you calling me pig in the Quran is not insult. Just to show you the hypocrisy of those Muhammadan. You call me pig in the Quran is not an insult. You call me an animal in the Quran is not an insult. You call me kafir, which means somebody a liar. He hide the truth is not an insult. You're a prophet saying when you see a Christian in the street, you spit in his face and force him to walk in the sewage and don't greet him with peace. That is not an insult. When the Quran chapter 9 verse 29 says, fight the Christian, kill the Christians and force them to pay the jizya and they are humiliated and subdued. How hypocrite you are. Look who is talking about insult. So you are upset from the word idiot, but they are not upset from calling us pigs and monkeys. You are not upset from calling us najis. Najis, how dare you?
hypocrites. You are the same as the Pharisees who can swallow a camel and they don't notice it. But they will say, look, 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 there is a hair there, there's a hair, I saw a hair. Hypocrite people. You're a prophet. He ordered you to insult the Christians. What kind of a prophet this prophet is? Hmm? Well, Jesus says when you see somebody, you know, somebody, he slam your face, you know, give him the other cheek. Muhammad, he says, when you see a Christian or a Jew or a Hindu or a Buddha in the street, spit on him. Force him to walk in the sewage. You have to bother him. You have to harm him. Is that your prophet talking or me? And then you give me a speech about respecting us. What a hypocrite. Munafiq is you. Here we go. He just called me names. He's insulting me. He's asking me not to insult. And now he's insulting me, calling me Munafiq. Let us see who is the Munafiq. You know what Munafiq is? Munafiq is someone say something and do something else. That is you Muslims. Because you follow Islam. This is the chapter 3, verse number 28 in the Quran. Read with me and die laughing. Let us see who is the Munafiq, the hypocrite. The religion of hypocrisy is the religion of Islam. The religion of Satan. Satanic cult. The only cult in the world teach you you can lie is Islam. I never study any cult. Say you are required to lie. And that is a holy line. Who is the munafiq? Who is the hypocrite? <laughs> Follower of the devil, Muhammad. Read carefully with me. This is the religion of Muhammad, chapter 3, verse number 28. And look, I'm not showing you to a Christian prince interpretation or not a Christian prince translation. This is their, what they teach in the school. This is the official government of the filthy king, the king of Jordan. Who every single king in, in, the, in the West and America, Joe Biden, he said, thank you, the king of Jordan, for, for helping us. He's just our potato. He's our, he's our puppy. No wonder he is so bad and he is so corrupt. He is descendant from Muhammad, according to them. Let the believer not to take the non-believers. Okay, the hypocrite, the Quran calls hypocrite. You cannot, take, you cannot take the hypocrite as a believer. Look at this. And then he says to them, you cannot take the Christians or the Jews as a, as a friends, okay? And the one who take them and become might and honorable, uh, who is sincere to take us as a friend, he do that, seek him might and honor by taking the hypocrite and disbelievers as a friend. He has no connection with Allah. Go and see the Sheikh Uthman shaking hands with the, with the David Wood, the one who ate the Quran and the one who made movies about Muhammad. Shaking, shaking hands and give him five and taking selfie and give him hug and call him my friend. Why you do that? They will say to you, no, he don't mean it. He is a liar. Sheikh Uthman is a practicing taqiyya, brother. Who is the, who is the munafiq? <laughs> the hypocrite. You, every single one of you, if you practice Islam, this is your religion in front of you. And look what it says. The one who means to have a friend as a Christian, he has no honor, no mercy, no protection, which means the Muslim will kill him. So how the king of Saudi Arabia says, American, our friends, how the prince of Qatar, the leader of the Muslim, Muslim Brotherhood, he opened the biggest bases for American Marines in the world. And he paid for it. Howard Dugan, the Muslim leader, the one who prayed to Allah, he have three American bases in his country. When the Quran says in chapter 5 verse 51, take not Christian and Jews as a friends, and the one who take them, he is one of them. Read carefully. It says, the one who made, he has no honor, no connection, no protection from Allah, no mercy, which means we kill him, we rape, we rape his wife. But yet, if you guard yourself against them, okay, save yourself from them. 
Take it as wear security. Saving yourself from them by speaking in a friendly way toward them with while your heart is like this. Do you see it? So they go to Christian naive people. They say to them, we are friends. We, uh, Islam teach us to love everybody. Islam teach us to respect everybody. Yes, brother. He call you brother. But in his heart, the devil is there. And this is not my words. As you see, this is the Quran. Do you have a response, Abdul? Are you there? Who is the hypocrite? This is the this is the Satan himself. A Satan who teach people to lie to each other and in their heart they should hate you. We Christian, we don't hate Muslims. And I will never hate them. Why I want to hate them? But you as a Muslim, you have to hate us. So you are the one who is a munafir. Every single one of you who follow this is a munafir. And if you don't follow this, you are the Muslim. As you see, it says, the one who don't follow this, he has no connection with Allah. So a true Muslim is someone who hate, but in his heart, if he could not say it in his mouth, as if he like, if he live in America or something, but in his heart, he hate you. But in his lips, he say nice things to you and the proof in front of you. Am I making things up? This is the official government of the King of Jordan, owned by the king, which is a piece of garbage. And this is a clear proof that Islam is the religion of the devil. If it's not from the devil, will not teach to hate against other people. And Jesus is the only true God, for he says, love the Muslims, love the Buddhas, love the Hindus, love everybody, love your enemy, bless them, bless those who curse you. That is teaching of Jesus. This is why wherever Islam goes, Muslims run away. Even you Muslim, you run away from Islam. How many Muslims they come to Europe every year? Why don't go to Saudi Arabia? Why don't go to Libya? Why don't go to Syria? Why don't go? They don't want to. They don't want to go there. They don't want to live between Muslims. There's no life for them in a Muslim country. Every single Muslim he dream. To run away to escape islam this is the truth and then they come to england and says we love islam we are muslims hypocrites i just yesterday i saw in the news a muslim girl she is dating a, a person he is a christian or maybe i don't know he is not a muslim that's what the news is saying and obviously they are you know sleeping together the family of this muslim girl six of them they chase the girl they want to kill her they punch her, they beat her, she have she is she is a brightness, you know, they wanna you know they beat her, the bodies came, they arrest him, all of them. And they asked the girl why they, why they are doing this to you? She said, Because I am going out with someone is not a Muslim. They come to this country, they dream to come to this country. When their girls and their daughters they go into school, they wish to go back to Jordan. They wish to go back to, to Egypt. They wish to go back. Oh my gosh, she is having a noise. Abdu, and your boyfriend, he is not a Muslim. All of those who they are coming to the West and they are Muslims, in 10 years from now, they will regret all they have to live as a Western people. Just wait. That's why those Muslims who they are they claiming to be conservative, they act like they, 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 they go to school, they watch their daughter. And their daughter, they go, they sleep around, but in front of their father, they come home and they are wearing hijab. Do you remember the lady, her name is Foxy? Who remember Foxy? Anyone remember Foxy? Foxy is a Canadian woman. She converted to Islam because her boyfriend is a Muslim. And she liked to associate with Muslim boyfriends. She made a video speaking about reality. She's a Muslim now, supposedly. She said, those Muslim men, they are hypocrite. When they want to marry, they want to marry a virgin girl. And then she said, but who is a virgin? All those Muslim girls I know, they go and they take it in, eh, I don't, I don't want to say the word, in the wrong location. <laughs> go watch the video. She said the truth. All of them, they are not virgins. 
number one product in the Middle East is Virgin again or Virgin surgery. They fly to, to, to Thailand to make inversion again. Hey, mom, I want to go to Thailand before my wedding party. <laughs> ah, anyway, so my friend, by his name, we are victorious. And we, we will not hate the Muslims. And we encourage you all not to hate them. We hate the devil. We hate, li we hate, we hate lies, you know. Uh, uh, fight the lies and don't focus in a person those are poor people they are misleaded and they are victims and you know war is war like you know Taliban they are criminals they are evil they will fight them and we, we defeated them always and they will never win look at them they're miserable even now we are in the heart of Kabul Taliban don't dare to say we want to kill America don't dare don't dare to say we support Daesh. They changed. They became uh, good infidels. <laughs> good believers, sorry. <laughs> they became good Taliban suddenly. <laughs> the Shia, they celebrate just a few days ago, Ashura. The Shia, they celebrate in the heart of Kabul, imagine. And Taliban, they were watching. They did not even dare to touch them. You see how hypocrite they are? Who is the hypocrite? They say, they, 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 they are teaching for the last 20 years that the Shia is kuffar. And then when they are in the office, suddenly Shia, they are okay. <laughs> uh, a Muslim convert killed his own 18-old son because he became a Christian. I don't know about this story. Well, you hear tons of stories, my friend. And the one who ever killed in the name of Jesus, he will be in heaven. Don't, don't cry for a person who died. For the sake of his belief, he will he will have the glory. He is in a separate and special place. I heard actually that the Muslims they reported a Christian from Indonesia after a debate. He is an ex-Muslim. He 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 destroyed the the Muslim in the debate, and they called the police for him and they arrested him. So if you are in the Indonesian, if you are Indonesian, you should make a video about this, translate into in English. And we can send it to churches, and those churches they can call, and they call the congressmen, and we you know we we can we can make a movement to 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 check with the Indonesian government because Indonesian government, by the way, in case you do not know, they are under the, the like they are subdued to USA. They don't dare even to say no to USA. They claim to be Islamic government and Islamic army and Islamic potato tomato. You know that you know you know the thing, but in reality they are potatoes this government is under the command of USA so be active if you are Indonesian who is an Indonesian American call your congressman call the Senate and here in America you can talk to anybody nobody can say no to you you can call the congressman office and he have to talk to you let them hear your voice and let us protect those who need our help so my friend glory to the Lord we are always victorious and no atheism can hurt us and Islam is a joke and we prove it every day and my offer for those who challenge to debate me and instead of saying to me, show your face, we'll show you phone call and call me. Stop being afraid and terrified and scared. People who watch this video today, if you are an atheist, my friend, atheism is not right. Atheism is misleading. And time will come, you will become old, and you will see how wrong you were. Do you see those let me mention to you some names you know David Wood and Anthony Roger do you know that both of them they used to be atheists they love atheism they spend their life atheist go and ask them what happened atheism is dark no future no hope. 
actually even according to science that those who have a belief they can fight illness way better can you believe it pure science this is not about religion now even according to science and scientists you can go and search right now that those who have a belief they can fight and they can survive better than those who have no belief this is why jesus said believe in a stone you will recover stone it's a stone but he was talking about the stone he is the stone he is the cornerstone believe my friend can save you somebody might say to me oh somebody have a cancer he's a believer he did he die still his belief save him we save him from a lot of misery before he die a person who have a belief he is sure where he will go he is sure that he is not dead he is sure that he will survive he have a better survival he die happy there's a monk who spent his life serving the people praising God serving the poor and he's dying he's like 80 something they brought a doctor for him and the doctor he looked at him and he came out he says I think your friend he lost his mind they said why he said well I don't know I told him you have a few hours to live and he laughed he smiled they said why you don't go and ask him why he smile he said that's a good idea I really became curious so the doctor went back and he said to him you know I have a question you know I just told you you have maybe a few hours to live and he gave me a big smile you are so happy how that how, how come he said to him son all my life I'm waiting for this day and you just told me in a few hours I will meet my Lord so what you should be so death for a believer is the the moment of happiness not the moment of sadness death of a believer is a new life death of an atheist is miserable he's scared he's terrified they will put him under the dust that's it he's gone and now if you don't believe in God you don't believe in God what if God is true oh boy in the top of the grave I will go to hell a believer my friend he have a better life a believer he have a better death a believer he enjoy things in different level even when he eat food he feel he is not alone he prays the Lord he says thank you Lord this is amazing when he see a beautiful view he says thank you Lord I'm not a fool I appreciate you he enjoy it in different level a level of eyes a level of a spirit a level of heart and then the brain will enjoy it a believer he have a joy which an atheist cannot see neither a Muslim because both of them they are atheist for anyone who worship the wrong God is a fool that's what the Bible says and foolishness my friend is our enemy that's why I said to you don't hate the Muslims hate the ignorance of the Muslims the Bible says my people have been destroyed because of their ignorance he did not say because of you know uh, like uh, anything just ignorance ignorance I mean look at this world ignorance and how much this world is covering my nation perish they are totally perish because of their ignorance A believer he wake up in the morning and he say thank you Lord 
for whatever we have in our sickness in our happiness in our sadness he is still in good hands he don't feel alone and one of the most horrible things a human being he suffer from is when he feel alone a believer he don't feel alone for he never was alone with the Christ you are not alone your belief will accompany you and Christ he said every two of you mention my name I will be between them so right now as we speak he is listening to us an atheist he have nothing nobody is to listen to him he's a person who worship himself he play yoga yoga the art of selfie selfie this is why I warn Christian by the way from the yoga yoga is very bad thing to practice I know that some Christian schools and churches they say to you yoga is wonderful that is stupid to say because the whole point of yoga is to forget everything around you and to focus on yourself and that is totally against Christ's teaching Christ's teaching is about to forget about yourself and to focus on everything around you the same as a Christ he gave himself you give yourself so a father he loves his family he don't focus on himself how tired he is he focus how he can make his children happy how he can make his wife happy that is a Christ like not a yoga person a woman she focused not in her beauty because she want to have a skin to be proud in front of her friends a woman she focus how her family is a beautiful if her family is a beautiful she is a beautiful woman if her family is not she is not because what kind of success you have in your life if you could not have a beautiful family if you are so pretty by face but life around you is ugly where is your success you spend your day to go to the saloon and doing your nails but you have no time for your child and then he now he's taking drugs my friend with the Christ we have a goal and we have a success with him we have comfort he said I will never leave you alone I will send you the comforter we have the comforter with us and if you are a believer he is with you with this I want to say to you thank you all for being here I apologize sometimes my English does not help me to explain everything I want to say to express what I wanted to say but I use my little limited English I hope it's working I hope it's doing good I pray that the Lord he will make my little English enough for you to understand what I wanted to say we praise him he love us before we loved him he chose us before we chose him he is with us before we became with him he gave himself to us before he asked us for any return how beautiful he is can we be like him that is a question I will leave it for you don't be like the atheist don't be like those who worship and kiss stones be real the real Christ let him glorify through you love the Muslims don't hate them feel for the atheist they are misleaded don't be a hateful machine hate will kill you will not help you hate is our enemy let us conquer hate let us destroy hate let us have the love of Christ replacing the hate in this earth if all of us we practice one sentence of a Christ love your enemy there's no enemy left there's no criminals there's no rapists there's no thieves there's no killers and there's no homeless one sentence not a book one sentence of a Christ nobody dare to say 
2,000 years ago, who dared to say, love your enemy? Give me a break. Who dared to say it even now? Love your enemy. Imagine somebody go to the United Nations says, and he's a leader. Love your enemy. People will laugh at him. What are you talking about? We have nukes waiting for you. We have armies. We are spending billions and trillions of dollars, and people are dying from hunger because we have a lot of enemies. One sentence of Christ will solve all the problems. Not a book. Three words. Three words. Love your enemy.